Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and today we're looking at the 2019 AP Statistics for your response question number two. As usual, um, if I have any mistakes, I'll put them as corrections in the description below as well there's a link to the PDF solutions in the description below. So researchers are investigating the effectiveness of using fungus to control the spread of an insect that destroys trees. The researchers will create four different concentrations of fungus mixtures. An equal number of insects will be placed into 20 individual containers and the group of insects in each container will be sprayed with one of the four mixtures. And the researchers will record the number of insects that are still alive in each container one week after spraying. So the treatments are the four different concentrations. That's what I'm doing different for each. Um, the experimental units are the 20 uh, containers of insects. You can say all the insects. I mean, you're just experimenting on the, these containers. The response variable is the number of insects alive after one week. So this experiment have a control group. Control group would say something that I'm not exposing the uh, fungus mixture to, and, and there's one where I'm applying zero. So B is yes. The zero milliliter per liter is a control group. Now you're still spraying it with something, but what you're trying to do is really determine the the, the concentrations. Uh, you know whether the whether the um, this concentration will control fungus. So your control group is if I don't really, I just use like a placebo or like a kind of a plain mixture of just water or something like that. Okay, explain how the treatments can be randomly assigned to the experimental unit so that each treatment has the same number of units. Actually, a lot of ways to do this one uh, correctly, and there's a number of ways to do it incorrectly too. As long as it's equally likely for any container to belong to any group, that that's step one. And step two, that you need to have um, five containers uh, for each of these treatment groups. Right? There's four different um, mixtures, um, so we need five containers. So in principle, all you need is that at least five containers get each of them, and that each one is equally likely to belong into any of the four mixtures. As long as you have a setup that does that, that you know will be fine. Um, you could do something like you know number them one through twenty, and then randomly like um, shuffle them, right? Shuffle one through twenty. Um, you could shuffle the order and then you say the first four is like, you know, belong to group one or the first five is group one, second five is group two. Um, you could also just simply, I think what I ended up saying was just like for each container, I'm just going to randomly select one of the four numbers, right? And until I fill up one group and then once I, um, uh, it, you know, if I if, if one's already filled, then I re-roll the number again until I until I, I go into a group that's not being filled, and so I think that would make it equally likely that any of them uh, would would belong to one of the group, and that would guarantee that there would be five in each group. So as long as you put something along those lines that it would be equally likely, and you have to think about that, as well as you know ensuring that like five are belonging to each, any any scenario like that or randomness like that uh, would generally work. And so that's the second one. So I'll um, let me know how you did or what, you know, I'm curious what kind of random uh, treatments you guys tried um, uh, for part C because this one is a little more like there's a little more variability because you, you can design it how you, however you want. Um, let me know what you tried and uh, I'll see you in the next video.